Hi, nice to meet you, Mrs. Stark again. Okay, so I hope you've been practicing your story map. It's going to help you with this lesson because I need your help to tell me what the giant gave all the animals as he was walking home. Do you think you'd be able to help me? Okay, right, I'm going to share my screen and then you can help me. Okay. Okay, just bear with me a second. Okay, so as you know, our story is the smartest giant in the town. Now, the first animal he meets is a giraffe. Hmm, so what does the giant give the giraffe? Hmm. Should we see whether you're right? <gasps> he gave him his tie. Hmm, that's a bit of a funny thing to give a giraffe, isn't it? Why would a giraffe need a tie? Hmm. Why did the giraffe need that tie? Let's have a look. Because he was cold, wasn't he? The giraffe was so cold because his neck is so long. He was cold. Hmm. So you could use a lovely sentence and you can say, the giant gave the giraffe his tie because he was cold. Fantastic. Okay, let's see what he meets next. Oh, a fox. Can you tell me what did the giant give the fox? Shall we see whether you're right? Let's have a look. The giant gave the fox his sock. But why did the giant give the fox the sock? whether you're right. It was for a bed, wasn't it? Because he lost his sleeping bag. He dropped his sleeping bag in a puddle and it was all wet. So the giant gave the fox his sock for a bed. Fantastic. Let's see what's next. Okay, the next one. Oh, look, it looks like Mrs. Starkey is a goat. How funny. Okay, so the next one is a goat. What does the giant give the goat? Do you see whether you're right? He does, he gives him his shirt, doesn't he? Can you remember why the giant gave the goat a shirt? Hmm. So you see whether you're right? That's right, it was for his boat because his boat didn't have a sail. So the wind couldn't blow the boat along. But then the giant gave the goat his shirt for a sail on his boat. And then that means that the wind can push the boat along. <gasps> Great remembering nursery, let's have a look. <gasps> mm, now the mouse, what does the giant give the little white mouse? Do you see whether you're right? That's right, the giant gave the mouse his shoe. But why did the giant give the mouse his shoe? Do we see whether you're right? It was for a house, wasn't it? So you could say, the giant gave the little white mouse his shoe for his house. So you've told me what the giant gave the mouse and you've also told me why. Because you used the word because the giant gave the little white mouse his shoe because his house had burnt down. Oh my goodness me. Let's see what's next. Oh, a dog. What does a giant give the dog? So we see whether you're right. Did you say belt? That's right, the giant did give the dog a belt. But why did the giant give the dog a belt? I haven't seen any dogs wearing a belt and my dog doesn't wear a belt. So why would the giant give the dog a belt? So we see whether you're right. That's right. The giant gave the dog his belt so he could walk across the bog. Fantastic nursery. Okay, so you help me tell me all the things that the giant gave his friends when he was walking home. 
Now, your job is to go around your house and have a look at something that you might give your friends. But you need to tell me why. So I could say, I would give my friend a new saucepan because she burnt her last one. My goodness me. So I've used that word because, and that tells people why. I could say, I would give my friends a case for her glasses to keep them safe. Okay, so before you go around and collect things from your house, you need to ask your adult if it's okay for you to use them. And then I want you to think of why you would give your friend that object and then try and use a fantastic sentence all on your own to tell me, just like I did. I would give my friend a new saucepan because she burnt her last one. Brilliant. Well done, nursery. I can't wait to hear all of your fantastic sentences on Tapestry. I'll see you soon. Bye.